Hello everyone, uh, this is Humayu and in today's video I'll be showing you how to merge different plots into a single output like most of the time whenever we, we're gonna publish something we need multiple plots in a, in a single output. So how can we do that while using our studio? Uh, first of all let me show you the data. If you see here I've got four variables. Uh, the first variable E is actually employment, second is labor productivity, third one is wage rate, and the fourth one is unemployment rate. So we've got these four variables and uh, this date variable is actually showing the quarterly data. The first quarter of 1980, the second quarter of 1980, the third quarter of 1980, up until the fourth quarter of 2000 if we see the tail of this data you will see uh yes the last quarter of 2000 so starting from the first quarter of 1980 ending on the last quarter of 2000 so what packages will you require for this so the very first important package is ggplot2 so library ggplot2 i have already librarian it so I don't need it but for your understanding you need to install it first install.packages ggplot2 and then library it as ggplot2 so this is the first you know important package that you require the second is t-series t-series is very important package so keep in mind these two packages ggplot2 and t-series the third package that you will be needing that is very, very important, that is extremely interesting package is grid access, grid access, this one. This is very important package. You need to install these three packages, ggplot2, t-series and grid extra. Right. So first of all, you need to, you know, save all the variables that you're going to plot in a specific sort of, you know, uh, a time series format so for that let me name the first variable as y1 and for that i'll be needing this ts function y1 ts so what is the variable it is saved in data so data dollar e this is actually the e variable so what is it okay, so for that you'll be needing the ts function so ts uh, this variable the very first which is employment we have taken it as so what else do you need you need to give it the start of the date so what is the start start is equal to actually it's 1980 first quarters so you have to put it in this vector c 1980 first quarter and what frequency do you want to give it so i i want i want it to you know produce the x labels after every four years so i'm giving it a frequency of four okay now now take the second variable and name it as y2 the second variable is actually productivity p r o d right the rest of the things will remain the same okay now the third variable which is y3 so y3 variable is r w so that is okay now the fourth variable again in the same format i'm naming it as y4 Take the fourth variable which is u unemployment so this is u so now i've got all these variables properly you know arranged in special you know vectors with you know with the proper specification of the date right second what i'll be doing it i'll be plotting them one by one right so first of all let's for example plot name uh, this plot as plot one so we'll be using auto plot function auto plot function is actually in the ggplot2 package as i've already told you you need to install the uh, ggplot so i'm plotting the first the very first variable so for example i'm plotting this y1 let me show you how it works first and then we'll properly use it so this is the auto plot one function c on x axis we have time and on y axis we have nothing so let's properly name them now so i'm saving it you know in a in r while giving is as the name as plot one so plot one is equal to auto plot auto plot uh, y1 comma x lab labels is equal to time, uh, comma 
Y label Y label is equal to it is employment. So I'm giving it as employment and main, which is the main title. So I'm giving it as employment rate, or you can give it as employment, whatever you want. Employment, and I'm giving the size. The size of the line actually it's actually the size of the line so the size as 0.9 few other things if you want to add for example if you're going to give the color so I'm giving the color as, as blue so so this is plot one so if I run this plot one okay see it's blue its size has increased, its title is employment, its, its x-axis is time, its y-axis is employment. Now do the same thing with the other three variables and for example, for the second variable I'm naming it as plot2, I'll definitely be using y2, time and here the y-lab is actually productivity, productivity, main is for example the main title is labor productivity productivity okay i have plot two now use the same function for plot three for the plot three i'll be using y3 the y3 is actually wage rate real wage sorry it's a real wage not wage rate real wage and uh, the main title again it's a real wage uh, size is same blue color blue size 0.9 so this is plot 3 now do it for plot 4 uh, so for plot 4 I'll be using the fourth variable which is unemployment rate uh, so its y label should be unemployment okay and its main title should be unemployment rate unemployment rate rest are the same now if i run plot 2 let's see what do we have so this is labor productivity now if i run plot 3 this is real wage if i run plot 4 this is unemployment rates so all of them are in separate plots now the most important part of this video what if i want all of them in a single you know output all of these plots in a single output so for that you'll be using the grid I already talked about you know the the most important package grid extra so in this grid extra package we have grid dot arrange function grid dot arrange function so what I'll be needing give them all of the plots plot one comma plot two comma plot three comma plot four all of the four plots now the most important part is how many rows do you want in this output i have four you know sort of plots so if i give it as two rows and two columns it would be fair enough for it so nf row is equal to two comma sorry n row not nf row n row is equal to two comma n call is equal to two boom See all of the plots in one single output. See employment, labor productivity, real wage, unemployment, all of the plots in a single output. So now you can copy it and you can, you know, use it for your publication purposes or any other thing you want. So this is actually the, the trick through which you can you can plot thousands of you know plots in a single output you can display them in a single output i hope it was helpful and thank you very much for watching god bless you all please subscribe my channel thanks